everyone, it's Miss Allison. I hope you're having a fantastic day. All right, guys, so we are going to take a look today at how to give feedback on your writing. Your goal today while I am going in and giving you your formative feedback is to reflect yourself. We're gonna get ready for that summative. Once we get our feedback, we're gonna take it, use it, and then move on to our summative. So let's take a look here at your activity for today. Our learning target is I can use the rubric to assess myself and figure out how I want to improve, to move my writing forward, excuse me. My success criteria is I have identified changes I can make in my writing and I have started to make those changes. So we're gonna do a four step um, kind of process to do this today. This is your rubric. It's just very big and kind of drawn out right now because there's space for you to write in between, but that is going to be what your rubric is. We're gonna now narrow in and focus on your PEA structure. That's what we've been doing all semester and you've done a great job with it. That is what I wanna to use to give you formative feedback, okay? So directions here is you're gonna pick a body paragraph from the mentor text and grade it using the rubric. For each part of the rubric, you will need to explain what score you feel that paragraph earned and why. And finally, you'll give a suggestion of improvement that can be made. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna to go to the mentor text. We're looking at body paragraphs, right? So I'm gonna pick one, let's go with Wendell's. Okay, so I'm gonna read Wendell's and I'm reading and I'm reading and it's so good. And then I'm gonna come back here and I'm gonna look at the criteria and see where do I think it scores, right? There could be in-betweens, it could be like a 2.5 or whatever. Right here, I would put the score that I think it got. I'm going to say I gave this score because, explain why, and I'm going to give an improvement that this writer could make. The answer for this cannot be nothing, okay? Even on your own writing, there's always something we could do. We could think about word choice, right? We could think about using sentence fluency. We could think about grammar, spelling, punctuation. Maybe they didn't write it correctly. All of those things are true. So I would say I suggest and I would put what I think this writer should do, all right? And I would do the same for their evidence, each piece of evidence, and then their analysis. How did they do in this paragraph? Now, when you're thinking about this, there's three sets of PEA. So it could be a case of like, gosh, they nailed it, the first one. The last one was a disaster. It fell apart. So again, on this rubric, I need to take all of that into consideration while I'm looking at it. And that's where the point, um, point fives could come in, right? So we could say like, oh, they just weren't quite there. Or, hey, it looked really good. And that's where you're going to make those decisions on the score. Okay? So first is you're at the mentor text. Then you're going to your own essay on your on-demand. You're going to pick a paragraph that you're feeling pretty good about that you think could be summative eventually. Okay? And you're going to do the same thing. Give yourself some feedback. Think about how it would score right now. This is the same rubric I'm going to use to score your summative in a few days. So this is a really helpful practice to reflect, see what you got. Okay. And same thing, give yourself some feedback here. Make sure you're giving yourself suggestions. Then finally, step three, which is not as colorful or fun, but important right here, you're going to say what you need to change. And like I said, the answer cannot be nothing. There's always something to change. Always, always, always. So please make sure you go in there and talk about what you want to go back and tighten up. And guys, step four is doing that, right? Take the rest of the time that you have in class. Make sure you're making those changes because we'll be turning this in for summative in just a few days. All right, guys, I hope that makes sense. Let me know how I can help you and happy writing.